Most commonly used feature on Pocket 3 today by most laborers is the grade check function. It's very easy to access utilizing the survey key. As we go to survey key and then we go to stakeout, the very top option is surface check. Again, our most commonly used option. Once surface check has started, we can see our vertical offset that's programmed into the unit, how far up or down the unit must go to achieve desired grade, and what the live elevation is of the unit as it sits right now. We can even go one step further if we had the unit, instead of on a rover pole, uh, maybe mounted inside of a, a tractor with a pan or inside of a skid steer, we can actually throw a grade indicator on the side, very much like machine control, and we can also throw a cross-section view in the bottom half of the screen as well, representing our surface design, giving us our map location with a crosshair, giving us our up-down arrow indication as well as our vertical offset, how far we've got to go, and what elevation is. From this point, we can also adjust this vertical offset. So right now it's set for a negative 0.667 to achieve a subgrade. If we wanted to go to a final grade, we can come into our stakeout feature, we can come into our vertical offset, and we can go to zero. This would give us a zero indication for final grade, telling us that we actually need to come up two tenths of a foot to achieve final grade and what our elevation is. We also have the ability, many times a guy needs to go and uh, match into like a curb or uh, some type of other gradient that they need to match to. Instead of programming in that offset, we can actually utilize the match grade function and it measures exactly where it's at to achieve zero grade as we stand. To get out of this mode, all we have to do is go to stakeout and we do stop stakeout. It takes us right back to our regular grade operation screen.